hello and welcome back to the channel so in the previous video with our clean architecture series we worked on our remote database and then we also worked on our implementation that's today repository implementation i promise you guys in the next video i'll be teaching you how to handle errors in a clean architecture project or in a project which is much similar to this right so what we do um, often is we handle our errors in our implementation right? so we are always getting an output which can be of um, either a failure or the actual thing you're supposed to get so you look at this method over here which is add to do this method is returning a to do like a future of to do which is what we are returning every time but what if in our remote database there is an error right so in the add to do function this shows an error means there is no way we are handling that error not break our app so in this video that's what we'll be working on uh, mostly so in order to handle an, the error relating to this type of architecture what we must do is we want to return either a to do that is if everything goes on well or a failure if we have some kind of error so that for our front end we will always know that we are returning one type so we can do something like if the return type of this function is a to do then maybe we can return the to do if it's a failure then we can return something else right so a package called that that's d-a-r-t-z um, helps us achieve this either um, feature so first go to the PowerSpec demo and under your dependencies add the that's package add the latest version of the that's package okay so we've added the dots package which is d-a-l-t-z right and currently i'm using version 0 0.1 0 0.1 and that's the version i'm using as of now right so what this package helps us to do is it allows us to return a type which is either um, something right either a left side or a right side and this is how we do it so for this remote database we are not 100 percent sure this method will always return as a to do right what if it returns an error right and we don't want to be using try catch everywhere in our code just this portion so we are always returning either so it's going to be something like either either a failure or a to do right then i'm having some errors here because i haven't imported either in place not like a failure so this function will return either a failure or a to do right so in order to achieve this we would have to first go to our repository and refactor how we've created our methods right so um, in our repository we are saying that when we perform addition of a to do the return type should be future to do and it takes the to do and it does that um, operation for us and it's same for all the methods the refactoring is going to be like this we are first going to create a class right and um, outside our features in the lib folder you can have something like shared and um, within the shared i'm having errors as a subdirectory and within the errors i'm having failure dot dot and this is going to be a simple class which has a message of code on it which is of type string right. and i'm going to create a constructor for this so whenever we return a failure we are expecting that failure to have a message on it right. so i've created this simple class and this is what we'll be returning when um, we have an error and this failure class will have a message on it which we can display in our ui so back to our to do repository instead of um, always returning a to do we are going to return either and the either is coming from the dots package so either the left side of this either is what we want to return when something fails right so uh, we are returning a failure and this is our failure class and then a comma right so a comma separating um, the either and i mean the failure within the either then our to do so 
so instead of having just a future of to do we have a future of a particular class called either but then this either also takes in two types which is the left hand side and then the right hand side as you can see from the documentation over here and for the left hand side um we normally return a failure right so we are like if something goes wrong we are going to return the left portion of this um which is um the failure or the to do if everything goes all right we're going to return the right side which is a to do and this is what we'll do for um all the methods we have here so i'm going to copy this now for um, the get all is supposed to be list so I'm going to have a list of to do So this is how we are going to refactor our get all to have um, either failure or a list of to do. Now back in our to do repository implementation, uh, we would have to change this um, implementation we have over here. That is the overrides. So I'm going to first remove all the overrides and I'm going to generate a new one. All right, so I'm going to use VS Code, um, create four missing overrides and now our function as future either failure or a to do right now how do we retain either a failure or a to do from adding a to do to the remote database so this is how we do it we first put everything in a try catch and for now we are not catching specific errors in the next video we may look at how to catch specific errors but in this case we are just catching any error that may result from adding a to do and we are going to have a variable which is going to be a result which is going to be remote database dot add to do and we pass now to do now if everything goes on well right if this function doesn't try an error because if it does we are going to fall to the catch block if it doesn't try an error then we want to return the right side so we type something like a right and then you pass in the value you want to return and that will correspond to whatever is in your right side so if you had placed the failure on the right side instead of the to do it means you would have to return um the left side rather for the to do so we are turning right and then our results right and we have to await this so i'm going to put my async here and await this now whenever we have an error that's in our catch block we are going to return the left side of this um type right so we're returning either a failure or a to do so the left side is going to be um, a failure which is the class we created and we can pass now our custom message so this time around we are not dependent on the message from this error um, variable over here but we are passing our custom error, uh, message so we are going to have something like um oops we couldn't add there to do so this is how we handle the errors you first have um either a failure right which is what we want to retain when something goes 
wrong and then the actual thing onto it so this can be to do this can be customer this can be cat item it doesn't really matter but in our case because we are working with to do that's why we are returning to do always right now when we come to the delete to do it's just going to be the same thing so i'm going to copy from this section of the code which has the try catch and the remote database so i'm going to paste it here and this function must be asynchronous because of the future now we are going to change the method from our remote database to delete to do and we pass now to do right and we have to change the error message to we couldn't delete um this to do or we couldn't add this to do as well now as you can see um the edit is also going to be the same thing so we can copy again and paste in the edit and convert this function to an asynchronous function then we can call the edit to do method and pass now to do and then we change the error message so we couldn't edit this to do and for the get all we also have to call our get all remote database so uh, if the name is get all um, it's called list to do's instead so list to do's and we don't pass in anything right and if everything is successful we realize that the return type of the resource is list of to do and that's what we are returning to the right side of this either now um when something fails it does in the catch block we return the left side and the left side takes a failure which is a custom class we created ourselves so we can change the message oops we couldn't um, fetch to do's from the database so in this case whenever you have an error um, you are going to have a failure type returned and when there is a success we are going to have the to do returned so this is how you handle error in a clean architecture um, project or in a project like this right. so you may wonder now i'm having two types here how do i know which type i have to show or how do i know which type i have at um, a certain given time right so am i going to use if statement or what am i going to use so that's what we'll be looking at in the next video we'll be looking at how to um, call this methods in our ui so we'll start working on the uis from the next video um, thanks for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more like this also you can comment on what exactly you want to see and i'll see you in the next one bye